Alright, bear with me, I don't make a lot of videos, in fact, any, for do-it-yourselfers, but with the new BMS Batteries website, I'm attempting to broaden what's available for everybody and assist any way, shape, or form I can. So, I'm going to do a little video here to show the do-it-yourselfers how to do the main parts of a 24 amp hour Plano LTO bank. When you get it, um, it won't have any of this wiring harness on it. Um, in fact, it won't even have the little nuts and bolts that go through the, the threaded uh, uh, balance board uh, links. Um, anyway, so you will need a 6S Hiltec balance board, which comes just like this inside of this box. Okay, when you open it up, it's got a 7-pin plug. You take each one of those wires and strip the end of it off, and uh, crimp on a end to each one. I prefer to crimp and solder. I do it with all my connections. Um, so you will need a solder, soldering iron. I happen to have a soldering station, but you don't need a station. You can have just an iron. Same thing. Anyway, so after it's crimped, you go along and solder every one. It's already pretty tight, but I like to have a solid, solid connection because uh, this balance board um, balances the cells. Um, this particular one uses 5 amps, which is a lot. It doesn't need to be that high, but that's just the only one available. Like, um, but anyway, it'll balance the cells down to 250 milliamps of, of uh, balance. So if well, this cell gets a little low, it'll it'll uh, bring the rest of the other five down so they're all the exact same. Anyway, you need a balance board installed on all the banks um, for health reasons of the cells. Anyway, so after you crimp every end onto them and solder every end to them, these have to go in a particular order. Um, starting with the red wire, you will go to the positive terminal on the bank, which is labeled in two different ways. One is the red end. Also, there's a little plus symbol right here on each one of the banks. And also, um, the black circle plastic piece right here is the negative side of each cell. Um, so there's three ways to identify it. The black is the bottom, the sticker, and the red deal. Um, so anyway, you'll start with the first wire in the plug, which is the red wire, and you will um, screw it to, there is a threaded uh, nut built into each one of these. Um, one of the things that I didn't particularly care for, and perhaps I will change it. In fact, I will. I'll send a big pile of these to uh, the BMS web or uh, warehouse, so that all these banks come with the the bolts that go into the holes. Because I had to go to my local Tacoma Screw, and I took one of these banks down there, and we figured out which bolts fit into the thing. As of right this very minute, if you order one of these, it doesn't come with these. Um, I'm going to work on changing that. But anyway, so you will take the first wire in the plug and go to positive. And then it is important that you follow the order of these and put them in the correct spot or you will damage your balance board. You'll have to get a new one. 
the very next wire is your yellow wire and you will take it and go to the very next um, bus bar which is not the one across from it but the one below it so so the first wire is red here the very next one on the plug is going to go down here to the yellow okay and then your very next one is the green wire third wire in the plug it's going to go here the very next wire is the blue one in the plug it's going to go here the very next wire is the white it'll go here followed by another yellow down here and finally the black wire the negative will go here so to recap they're already in the correct order here red yellow green blue white yellow black and that's the same order that they go down the bus bars red yellow green blue white yellow black once you have all of those connected then you can take your Kiltech balance board and I personally build either a little box for it or I wrap it in um, Some of this shrink wrap, super durable, super thick. Um, you can get it in several different sizes over at um, uh, Battery Hookup. Um, I don't think we have any on the BMS website. I can double check. But yeah, you can get it also on Amazon. It's just shrink wrap. It comes in several different sizes. Anyway, after you open this up, put it in, hit it with the heat gun. Um, and shrink it around your Kiltech balance board. Once you do that, um, you can. Oh, you do have to make sure. I gotta get this out of here. You do have to make sure that. Let's see, can you see it on here? Yeah. Um, there's a little jumper right there that needs to be moved over to the. LTO right now it's on the NCM and the only way to do that is with the side so you'll we'll take it and you can either just drag it off with your soldering iron or you can use a solder sucker which is like a little little vacuum so you'll heat up where the two spots it was connected and you will Suck the solder sucker off of that particular spot, which pulled. So now there's three empty tabs there. Where a second ago the the number two and three were linked. So now I'm going to link the number one and two, the LTO, to the middle one. Okay, now that the LTO uh, tab 1 and 2 are linked together, now this is good to be plugged into the harness that we've already gone over how to install. Um, this will be wrapped in the shrink wrap that we just went over also as well. I'm not going to plug it in just a second because the whole back of it's completely exposed. I don't have this one wrapped in shrink wrap like, like I will have at some point. Um, once you do that, I personally put them all in a nice wood case because all of these bus bars are live, meaning that if I laid this across something metal, it's going to short out. So I personally build wood cases for these. Um, you do it yourselfers. Um, you can do it several different ways. You can take the whole bank and wrap it in shrink tube. Um, or you can build a wood case around it, um, however you choose to do it. Um, but the main things that we just went over are what you need to do to actually use it. Once you have that installed, you can pull these deals off here. And then now you have two spots to connect your positive and your negative. 
Um, that will be what you take to your positive bus bar or you can go from your alternator to here and then straight off that same one again to your let's just use a smart five for an example you take this this one bank will support a, a Terra amp smart five um, anyway so you can go from your alternators positive straight to here and from here straight to the positive on your Terra amp five on the other side you're gonna take it um, the negative from your alternator case which is ground straight to the negative on the bank and from the negative on the bank to the negative on the positive or the negative on the Terra amps power input the negative side you can also go to frame ground um, a lot of people choose different methods of ground the most efficient is debatable most most people use the alternator case for the ground let's just use that for an example anyway once you have your alternator case grounded to the bank and from the bank to the negative on the amp and you have your alternator positive from your alternators positive post to the positive on this bank and from here to the amplifier and everything else we've already talked about now you're good to go this thing's a live bank that will be supported by the alternator and drawn off by the car amplifier. I'm going to conclude this little uh, how to install a Heeltech balance board video. I hope it's been helpful. Um, well, let me know what you think. If you got any comments or concerns, questions, um, all of the above. Um, and I have officially lost the remote that goes to that camera, so I can't hit pause. <laughs> Let's see if I can figure it out without the remote.